The East Cooper Planning Council is an educational organization dedicated to improving the built and natural environments of the East Cooper community. The council's members live and do business in the East Cooper area, including merchants, realtors, builders, neighborhood leaders, and many others. Its mission is to find long-term solutions to growth-related issues with the goal of enhancing the lives of present and future generations. One of our community's greatest challenges is dealing with increasing traffic volumes on Highway 17 North or Johnny Dodds Boulevard. We all know that the completion of the new Cooper River Bridge will mean more traffic on this roadway. Johnny Dodds is also one of the two main streets in our town. It provides access and visibility to the majority of stores and offices in Mount Pleasant. As such, it is integral to the commercial and civic life of this town. The improvements to this corridor should ensure adequate traffic flow, but they should not jeopardize the experience of shopping, working, and living in the area. It is critically important that we find the right balance between traffic movement and maintaining the quality of our business district. The section of the corridor the East Cooper Planning Council is focusing on stretches from the foot of the Cooper River Bridge to the I-526 interchange. Today, each intersection has a traffic light. Frontage roads provide access to pods of residential developments and businesses. Along this stretch of road are some of our community's oldest and well-established businesses. And while traffic flows fairly well most hours of the day, there is growing concern about congestion at several intersections, especially with the pending completion of the new bridge. One alternative proposed to deal with the congestion would transform the nature of Johnny Dodds Boulevard. Local officials are considering a series of massive grade separated interchanges at the Houston Northcutt, Bowman and Hungry Neck intersections. Here we see the Bowman Road intersection. And here is how the intersection is proposed with the flyover. These intersections are similar to ones used in large metro areas like Atlanta and Charlotte. An interchange of this type can handle current and future traffic volumes at the intersection on Johnny Dodds. However, these interchanges will also dramatically change the look and feel of the corridor, we believe very much for the worse. Businesses near the interchanges will suffer due to reduced access and high-speed traffic entering and exiting the road. The interchanges also discourage, if not prevent, walking and biking. They are distinctly out of character with the traditional look and feel of South Carolina's coastal towns, particularly Mount Pleasant. They fail to maintain that important balance necessary to support local merchants, to maintain a lively business district, and to ensure a high quality of residential life. And importantly, they are expensive. Very expensive. Each interchange is expected to cost upwards of $35 million each. But is there another way? Concerned about the impact of the proposed flyovers, local engineers and planners have researched the Multiway Boulevard, a street design that accommodates a high level of traffic but is more in balance with our community's values and quality of life. In a nutshell, this is how a boulevard works. High-speed traffic travels in the center lanes. Here we have a total of six lanes, three in each direction. Slower moving traffic is accommodated on frontage roads, which also allow for parallel parking. Sidewalks and buildings line the frontage roads. Boulevards work. This is Ocean Parkway in Brooklyn, New York. The section drawing that you see here clearly illustrates the principles of boulevard design. Buildings framing the street, a local access road for slower traffic, a park-like median, a center roadway for high-speed traffic, and a canopy of tree plantings cover the entire thoroughfare. This is Eastern Parkway, also in Brooklyn. This more compact roadway also demonstrates the same principles of design, but with different building types and roadway widths. Both Eastern and Ocean Parkways are about the same right-of-way width as Johnny Dodd. And they carry a similar 60,000 cars per day, roughly what is predicted for Johnny Dodd's in the next 20 years. This photo of Eastern Parkway shows what those median spaces feel like. They are small parks in the center of town with a shady walkway that's comfortable for walk, biking, or just sitting. In more commercial areas, the frontage of the boulevard can be very livable and profitable. 
Clematis Street in Miami demonstrates how keeping high-speed traffic to the center of a boulevard can make the edges quite nice with cars, pedestrians, and restaurants. We know that other cities' boulevards work well, but can Highway 17 North handle a boulevard conversion? We believe so, and that it can be cost-effective too. This map shows one possible configuration for a boulevard on Highway 17. In this configuration, the boulevard would have three primary elements. One, roundabout intersections which would be placed at Houston Northcutt, Anna Knapp, and Bowman Road. Two, a two-mile boulevard conversion with some signalized and some unsignalized intersections. And three, rear access roads built over time which would allow access to commercial buildings and create additional travel routes. Also included in this possible plan would be a more conventional section of roadway similar to the current configuration of Highway 17. Improving this section of roadway will help access to the hospital and slow down cars before entering the commercial heart of Mount Pleasant. A boulevard can fit within the existing Highway 17 right-of-way. This means that no additional land would be needed for the boulevard conversion and property owners would have sidewalk frontage. In this proposed section, left to right, we can see a public sidewalk, side street with parking that could initially accommodate two-way traffic, planted park-like median, three-lane high-speed roadway, and a center median. The boulevard would be planted across with trees.